so. guys welcome back YouTube what's going on guys so today we're gonna talk about something that everybody needs to know about uh, everybody should know about uh, a lot of people don't know about uh, they confuse it with things uh, like seeing something so today we're gonna talk about clipping and clipping subwoofers clipping amplifiers there's two basic ways of, uh, of clipping. Uh, you can clip your amplifier and you can clip your subwoofer. So clipping your amplifier is uh, turning it up too much and giving it too much power that the amplifier is uh, not able, it should not produce, uh, going beyond its uh, technical limits. And it's basically the same thing with a subwoofer. You're going uh, past its technical limits, the equipment's built to go for. So if a subwoofer is, say, 2,500 watts RMS, and you're giving it 5,000, and really giving it 5,000, uh, chances are you're probably clipping, and you're giving it distortion, dirty power, and that, that can either come from, and it goes both ways now. You can have, say, uh, a 5,000 watt amplifier on a 2,500 watt subwoofer and giving it 5,000 watts, or you can go the other way and have a 2,500 watt subwoofer and a 500 watt amplifier and giving it 500 watts. And then you're going to end up turning up your gains, you're going to end up turning up your bass and saying, oh, well, this thing can handle more. And at the same time, you're giving it distortion, you're feeding it dirty power, and now you are clipping. Um, I've had people say, uh, I can see your subwoofer clipping. Uh, I don't know there, buddy. Um, I I, I, I wouldn't say that I would ever say I could see somebody's subwoofer clipping. Um, now, hearing the subwoofer clipping in person, that is a possibility. Um, because you'd be hearing distortion where the subwoofer would be going past its, its limits. And you can hear the subwoofer clearly do, like, say, 32 hertz and then they're giving it feeding it distortion and that same 32 hertz sounds kind of muddy well that's that's probably distortion and you're probably clipping your subwoofer um so we're, i'm going to show you these on amplifiers we're going to go both ways i'm going to have a subwoofer that uh, i'm going to give it too much power and i'm going to have a subwoofer and give it not enough power so we're going to go both ways and do both things, and hopefully we don't damage anything in the process. So guys, we'll be right back. I appreciate you guys watching. If you guys like this video, I appreciate you guys hitting that like button. And if you're not a subscriber, I appreciate you guys subscribing. You can also become a member. Watch member videos. So guys, we'll be right back. Stay tuned. Don't go anywhere. Get your bag of Doritos, your Pop-Tart, and your lemonade. We'll be right back. All right, guys, welcome back. Oh, let me adjust this a little bit. I wasn't sure where it would end up. There we go. Just check this. Make sure we're focused. All right, let's get everything on here. All right, so we're going to do uh, amperage pull. Um, okay, so DC, and I don't know why it's not working on max mode but that's all right whatever it is what it is we're just gonna see live and we'll do live here and then I'll do uh, yeah. 
Okay, there we go. All right, and we're recording. All right, let me get my bass knob all set here. All right, so I'm just gonna leave the bass knob where it was. Everything's fresh and smooth as where it was yesterday when I did the, I meant to do a short and it ended up being a full video that I posted. And this will be more of the full video that everybody gets to see everything on the screen at once and uh, a more enjoyable experience. And I had a hell of a time. <laughs> I was trying to find uh, how to find efficiency and it's, it's actually a very simple equation. Uh, I'll show it to you at the end of the video or sometime during the video and I'll put it on the screen uh, so you guys can see what the actual uh, equation is and uh, we'll go from there. So yeah, I, I spent probably an hour looking up videos and uh, finally ended up finding it. All right, so we're gonna do a real song here. All right, so I'm gonna skip through a little bit because it plays music for a while. So here we go. So we should be hitting approximately 900,000 watts, nice and clean. Oh, 1,000 watts there, right off the top. And it's consistent to every shot. And it's not clipping. I don't know if that, you know. must have just been some glue that melted on the sub or something and that's why it smells every time I don't know but it seems to it, it's not affecting anything and the the power is consistent uh, you know everything runs fine regular song too guys so keep that in mind all right let's see what we get <laughs> Teeny bit. 
bit more. And I don't know if you guys can hear that through the video or not, but this is a Class D amplifier, the RP1200, and there's sound coming through the bass, and there's no high pressure filter on the amp, so I mean, there shouldn't even be any sound coming through at all. It should be just bass. All right, let's see what we got here. I turned it up a little bit. Every time it hits that 34 hertz, it drops down. Let me see. It'll it'll tell you the uh, hertz that it's that it's doing. Frequency and impedance. There it goes. So now you guys can see what kind of uh, tones we're hitting here. I think it's 34 hertz. One more song here. I don't know how it's gonna act. Because this is where I think it heated up before in my car. Right. Oh, let's see. Hold on. Here. And I'm gonna charge my phone and I'll have another video coming out for you guys later on. Happy 25, baby! 2025. This is a year, guys. We're going to get it. We're going to get it this year. All right, let's see here. Real time power. There we go. Commercials. Let's see. We got to back this up. Back that. Back that up. Back it up. Right, right here first. 812 right off the bat. Eleven twenty-four. I should bring this back in the car and try it out again. See what I get in my car. Because my car I always get a little bit different. I'm gonna put it up a little bit more. See what we get. Seems like it's doing alright so far. Ten sixteen right there. Oh no, get off that number. Awesome for this amp doing 11, 1200 watts at two ohms. That's phenomenal. I mean, that just says what it can do if you have a, a like a, a one ohm load. I mean, this is wired to one ohm, but obviously you can see it's not running at one ohm. And I, I this is something I try explaining to people all the time, and they're like, "Oh, but mine is wired to one ohm." It, yeah, but it doesn't run at one ohm. I wish I could just like, I don't know. <laughs> All right, guys, so listen, I appreciate you guys watching. Question, comments, drop them down below as always. Much appreciated. 
Uh, don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Like, share, subscribe in 2025, baby. You know how we do. As always, guys, take care of yourselves and each other, guys. Peace. Peace. Ha, ha, ha.